Now, just so you know, I have let my Botox wear off. So you may be seeing a lot of that right now and going, uh, if that's what Botox does, I can't really tell that it's doing any good. Well, I've let it wear off um, because I love you guys that much. I need Botox. So I've let it wear off so I can show you. In a week, once everything's all set up, I'll show you again so you can see what it does. Brown lines, forehead lines or frontalis muscle, crow's feet, smoker's lines, those are hideous. My pewter orange is not very strong right now. I've still got some Botox in there. Uh, but if you have it, you know it because it just gives you a really wrinkly chin and you won't like it. This muscle right here that can pull down on the corners of the mouth and make you look like you're frowning when you're not. The masseter muscle right here. I can't do it. Well, I can't do it very well right now. <laughs> But, but I do have Botox in mine. It's just, it just lasts a long time. In some, in some places, it lasts longer. If you're worried about Botox and having a fake looking face or having it migrate and cause uh, partial paralysis or drooping of your face, yes, it does happen. Fortunately, it's very, very rare. The only cases that I know of where people have had issues like that are when they did it with a provider that really didn't know what they were doing. Botox lasts for most people for about three months. But the good news is if you don't like it, you can just stop.